Hello everyone, Young Terry Gardner here. Today's video, we're going to be assembling, if you can't tell, some hive boxes. I got um, three hive box setups here because in the next few days, I'm going to be splitting my hives. Uh, there will be a hive update coming soon, probably within the next week or two after this is released. Um, but in order to split hives, you got to have hives ready to go. And now I do have hive boxes down at my bee yard, which you guys have seen before, the blue ones that are painted. But when you split them, you got to have a bottom board, you got to have a hive frame, a hive box. You have to have an inner cover and you have to have an outer cover. You have to have all those things. Those are the main things you need to start a new hive. So I got my lids here, my outer covers. You can't probably see this, but I got my inner covers. And on the bottom here, I have, <clears throat> excuse me, I have my, my bottom board. You could use screen bottom boards or just regular hard ones. I used to use the hard ones, like the, the wood ones. I don't find there much of a difference. It doesn't get that hot here where you need a screen bottom board, but a lot of people like them and that's fine. But anyway, the uh, tools of the trade for this is you want to have yourself some, get the English side because I can't read the French, of course, outdoor weatherproof wood glue. Now you could probably get away with using regular wood glue, but I spend the extra money for all season durability. It's made to be painted. It's made to be outside in the winter time, in the summertime that we have here, the different temperatures. So go get yourself some good quality wood glue. And then you also have a brad nailer, which is what this one is. I'm using these, um, I don't know, I guess inch and a half steak brad nails, I guess you call them. And I just have them hooked up to my air compressor here. Now, the, uh, the hive itself, the box, is made up of four pieces. And whether you're running 10 frame, 8 frame, deeps, or mediums, or shallows, the, the assembly is the same. You have your two long sides, which would be your, your frame length sides. They have your handles, so obviously the handles go on the outside, like that. Then you have your two inners. Now your inners are the ones that have the grooves on them. And this is so your, your, your frames sit right down on top of them. And these I got at a local beekeeping store. I'm sure you can find them online somewhere. Uh, if I'd have a big operation, I'd probably try to set up some jigs with a table saw or a router or, or, or you know something like that to make my own boxes using these. I think these are called dovetail joints where the one fits in here. It's a pretty, it's a very strong um, setup. Now these here come pre-drilled with holes for larger style nails. But I'm going to use my, my pneumatic air, air nailer just because it's just quicker. And by having the wood glue with these, it'll be just as strong as having a thicker nail. And there won't be any chance of anything splitting. And uh, yeah, so I'm going to bring you guys in to zoom in on how these, uh, zoom in more while I put these together. And then uh, we'll, I'll, I'll walk you through how exactly I do it. So you can get the strongest squares box possible. All right, so I got you guys facing a bit sideways here. It's just the easiest setup. Um, but the way I do it first, I have my little napkin here for my glue. I have a square. And I'm going to take two of these sides and put these away because you don't need all four of them. But basically, you have your, your short end. This would be the edge of where your frames can sit on here. Hopefully, you guys can see that. Okay, let me just adjust it for you guys. Ah, oh, you can see that just fine. Good. And you have your long side. Again, they all have handles on them. So you want to make sure, obviously, the handles are facing, the flat part is facing up, and the, the divot is where your hand would grab it. Um, so it's pretty straightforward the way I do it, is I'll take my wood glue, and I'll put a dab of glue, that's actually a little bit more than a dab, but close enough, on each one like this, and I'll stand this one up, and I'll do the same on this one, probably a little bit more than I need. And make sure you got both ends are upright, and you just gotta feel these together, and it's pretty, pretty simple. I'll take my little framing square here, put it at the bottom, make sure it's square, make sure they're pushed in pretty well. Then I'll take my, my air nailer here with my brads in it, and I won't go in the holes that are here because that won't, you'll lose your strength that way. So let's go a little bit offset of that. And you wanna hit every, every area here um, for a nail. If you miss if you miss one, then you just use redo. It's not a big deal. And you want to hit every one, especially if you're air nailing it, because um, you don't you don't want to miss one. 
And then you just take your napkin here. If it's wet, it'd be better. Wipe off the excess. This is nice and square. Again, they'll square themselves up once you start having them all together. You wipe your inside out like that. Wipe the bottom off. There's actually a good amount of glue. Now we can do the outer side. I like doing them on top of like your hive box, your, your lids, because the, the, the lids are bigger than the boxes. So you won't, you won't mess up, like you won't lose any space this way. And you got this one facing up. You can set it just like this, just to add your glue to it. And I just give a little dab, just a little bit. You don't need a lot, man. If you have a brush, you could brush it, brush it a little bit better, but I don't really have a brush and it's, this is good enough. I mean, you just wanna have a little bit of glue on every little joint that you have. Again, you pop this in real easy. Now, if these don't go together real easy, or if you're doing them yourself, you could get a little like a rubber mallet. This one's actually a little bit tough, but you hit it in like that, and there you go. I don't think I have a rubber mallet, do I? Appears I don't, but that's fine. You still wiggle your way in. Hit everything in the way it gotta go. Looks like we're pretty good. Square it up, best you can at least. Again, doesn't have to be like crazy, crazy perfect. Square it up. Like that, I'm gonna wipe the glue off now a little bit. And as you see, this one doesn't fit in as perfect as the other one did, but that's just how the things were machined. I can't hit this in any farther just because of the way that they're hitting. But you know what, this is gonna be perfectly fine. We got our square all squared up. Let's uh, nail it in. And one nail per little area here is plenty. Now again, if you're nailing these in by hand, you would use a larger nail. Let me see if I actually have one to show you. So if you're using nails, you'd want to use probably something like this, a one and a half inch nail, and that would go in, uh, you know, half inch here, and then the inch would go into the thing, into, into the other side, if you're using them uh, manually. But since I'm not, you know, this is pretty sturdy already. Let's flip it around. We got one more side, one more end to do. And what we'll do is you get this one's where you're gonna need a lot more, well, not a lot more glue, but you're gluing all the sides together at once, at like on the end here. So you wanna hit everything with some glue, like that. And then we got our short end, of course, and we're gonna hit every little bit here with glue. Then you don't gotta go crazy with the glue. You know, the, uh, the brads are gonna kinda hold it, but you know, the glue holds it as well, obviously. Let's see if we can slip this one in pretty easily. Good. This side, perfect, hit it, hit it against, hit it against, see if our square lines up all right, looks pretty good there, looks pretty good here, I'm going to hit this end first, yeah, sometimes they don't, you know, the wood warps and stuff, it's not, you won't get 100% like a seal, but you know what, it's going to be perfectly fine, I'm going to hit everyone again, Check our nails. Oh, we got plenty of nails. That one's lined up good. Let's check this straightness on this one. Ah, oh, we're perfect. Perfectly perfect. Alrighty. We weren't interrupted with my air compressor. This is what you're left with. I can actually take this away. And what I did here as well is I put a I put a brad in the tops. Not that you have to, but just to get a little bit extra strength. And if you see, this is pretty rigid. And now uh, let me find these frames are actually all taped up. Let me go grab a frame. All right, we got our frame here, and as you see, these slide right in. There's a little bit of play. There's a little bit of play, but that you don't want it to be super tight because the bees will tighten this up. And again, this will this is a deep 10 frame, so these will fit 10 frames in, and they're the deep frames, which are, I don't know, maybe eight inches deep, something like that. You have mediums that are, I think, around six, and you also have shallows, which I think are four, uh, or maybe these are 10, eight, and six, or something like that. But anyway, that's how you assemble a high box. And I have three more to go or excuse me, I have two more to go. That'll maybe three in total. And then, um, yeah, we're gonna get these down to the bee yard. There's not much to see there, I won't film that, but once I get, um, yeah, I'll get it back up like this. Once I get the uh, the splits going, we're gonna do a big old hive check, probably a pretty long episode, where I go through every hive, check every hive, make sure they're doing well, um, 
because here lately I haven't been checking them. In the beginning of the season, you obviously you want to check them all the time. You're eager to check them, make sure the queen's laying and all that. But I haven't checked my hives in probably close to three to three to four, probably around three and a half weeks. So it's definitely time to get in there. I know they're down there. They're buzzing like crazy. I know they're expanding like crazy. So these boxes here hopefully will help give me three more hives going into winter. If you remember last year, I had two hives. In my early video that I had early in the spring this year, all my bees, um, I had, they all, both, both hives died. So I'm hoping going into winter with five, or I hope I can get six, five or six hives, having that versus having two, as long as I can have a couple survive, that'll be good. Cause then I don't need to have to buy nukes in the spring. I can start splitting them right away in May. I can feed them heavy with some sugar water, a sugar syrup, whatever, some pollen. I can really feed them heavy in the spring, get them exploding, split, split, split. And maybe we'll end up with 10 hives next year. Uh, but anyway, thank you guys for watching. That's basically how, how I put together hive boxes. It's a pretty straightforward process. Any little air gaps or little holes from, from your dovetails not fitting perfectly together, the bees will fill that. They'll, they'll put propolis and whatever kind of, you know, sticky stuff in those gaps because they want the hive sealed up. So don't worry if you have a, like, you know, a little millimeter gap somewhere. The bees will fill that, no problem. All right, guys, thank you so much for watching. Stay tuned for more farming videos. If there's anything else that you're interested in seeing around the farm, please leave it in the comments below. You can also reach me on Discord at the Ontario Gardener. I have a, I have a Discord channel. It's in the link is in the description below. Uh, a lot of gaming content, but I also have some farming content there as well. And you can also find me at Twitch at the Ontario Gardener. And I'll see you guys in the next farming video. Take care now.